some life hacks on how to survive your period. Welcome back to Lacey Loves We Hustle Harder Productivity Lives here. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, check this out. I woke up with the most anxiety today, and I can't even explain it. Like, past couple days, I've been having a hard time falling asleep and just getting a full night's sleep. And I woke up this morning, and I could just, like, feel it here and here, just, like, this overwhelming anxiety. And even right now, during my meetings, I'm, like, trying to focus, but I'm like, okay, anxiety, okay, anxiety. So for sure, today, we need to meditate a little bit and write in a journal and just, like, <sighs> Take a little bit of a breather. We're still gonna do work, but we're gonna take care of our body as well. Here's the mission. Have a team meeting, have a call, go through my inbox, obviously. I gotta do some reading. Work on my speech for we day. Meditate. It's also National Hug a Friend Day, so I'm gonna hug a friend. All that more, let's do it. And not just any friend, but a special friend. It's always you, buddy. It's always you. It's always you. This man sleeps like a king. I swear to God, this bed, he's like, oh, this whole bed for me? Check out the picture of him sleeping. He's just like, you know what? This my bed, ho. You are a guest on this bed. Let's go over here. <sighs> I also feel like I'm gonna get my period soon. I woke up this morning, and I've said this many times before, but it's like, no matter how old I get, I'm f I still wake up, and if I have a cramp, I'm like, no, 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 God, shocked. Utterly shocked. I hate till this day getting my period, but I don't think I've ever actually like filled y'all in It just occurred to me right now that I have much experience dealing with the most painful Annoying period symptoms fun fact and I don't know if I've ever said this So one of the longest relationships I've ever had was prompted and started by the fact that I had my period and I fainted on a bus and he was also on that bus and that's how we started talking in high school I was one of those girls where my period was so bad. I'd have to miss class. I'd have to go home early I'd be crying I'd be pulling my hair out. I had that experience. As I've grown up, my period is kind of chill, but I thought, I'm a little bit. but it's still pretty annoying. So I thought I would teach you some of my life hacks. Some of these are common knowledge, others not so much. Some life hacks on how to survive your period. Cue fancy intro. Number one, goes without say, but if you're dying of period cramps, heat is the way to go. Of course, you can use a heating pad. I use one of those like water bottles and I pour boiling water into it. Mine is Canadian. Oh, Canada. I also use something called this like magic bean thingamabobber. I use it for when I have migraines on my shoulders, but it's basically filled with like these ar aromatic, aromatic, uh, aromatic, these magic beans that feel really good on your skin. So sometimes I wrap that around my stomach and I hug that and I go to sleep. And that magic bean thing pop in the microwave for like a minute and a half and it stays warm really, really long. Number two, they say that if you have cramps, you should exercise or like go for a walk or do some sort of physical activity. Let's be mother F for real. When I'm dying, the last thing Thing I want to do is move my body but I will say that I don't ever recall having cramps when I am being physically active if I was like you know hiking it's the worst day of my life these people maybe going to hike I'm gonna die yeah. you know, if I was at the gym there's people in there I better come back later all things I do I don't ever recall having cramps while being physically active so there seems to be some sort of science there I don't know what I meant now. Number three, eating and drinking certain things. It said that tea is good, specifically ginger tea is good. It's also said that bananas are supposed to help with period pain. I don't know if that's scientifically true. What am I? ASAP science is not a science channel, whatever. I saw it on the internet, it's true. Bell. Four, meditate. I'm really big on this one. So I believe in moments that you feel a lot of physical pain, you can to a certain extent meditate and train your mind to not focus on that pain. I've done this many, many times before. The best example was I was in between performances at an event, so I had a performance, at a break, and I had a second performance, and I got period cramps. And I literally, like, out of one to ten, I was a nine on the pain scale. I was dying. I had to go on stage in five minutes. I went to the washroom, and I went to a washroom stall. I'll never forget this moment. And I just meditated. I was like, okay, focus on this dot on the wall. Just breathe in and out. And I was just like... And I even did some stuff like where I took my hands and I was like, we're wiping away the pain. And I went down my stomach pretending I was capturing the pain and throwing it away. Like I did all this like spiritual and it worked. I literally shifted my focus away from the pain and I was able to perform. I'm a big believer of calming yourself and meditating through pain. Hundo P and spoiler alert, we gonna do a little bit of that today. And number five, was this five, was this five, was this four, was it six? And I, this is not ASAP science. Massaging your abdomen actually helps me a lot. When I'm really in pain, I rub my belly sometimes. Sometimes. Rub my tummy. Just like really just rub it lightly. It actually makes a big, big difference. I don't know if it's placebo that just feels like somebody loves me. That somebody is me. But that's okay. I think massaging your abdomen really, really super helps as well. 
And it goes without saying that like there's always a secret position when you're sleeping in bed with your leg here, maybe your arm here, where your stomach doesn't hurt. Find that position and when you find it, Godspeed. Stay in that position. Hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any period hacks down below. And boys, I hope this was very educational for you because the next time you get your period, I hope you eat a banana. <clears throat> this is not ASAP science. <laughs> let's get to work. Just did a quick fitting because I have a whole bunch of events coming up. We day tomorrow, for example. But I was talking to my stylist and I'm very like, yo, the styling for a little late with Lily Singh, I want it to be daring and bold and like not safe and use a lot of designers that are like Indian designers, like a Canadian designer, like all these people that like I really want to give props to. I'm super excited about the wardrobe for my show because you best believe there's not going to be a single, not even one, heel in sight. I can't wait. Love this stuff. Just meditated for 20 minutes and it was beautiful and wonderful and I feel a lot lighter. Not perfect because that's not how this works, but I feel a lot lighter. I actually also scheduled a massage, <laughs> which is great, but I just went through my inbox. I did a lot of work. I do my massage and then I'm gonna get into some reading. We're working on ourselves, y'all. We're working on ourselves. Disclaimer, disclaimer, I'm about to say the most unrelatable thing ever. No one will be able to relate. And you know what? That's okay. I'm getting a massage and my masseuse says to me, and I quote, I'm so sorry, I lost track of time and I massaged you 30 minutes extra. Oh, damn. That's too bad. <sighs> we doing some reading. We reading out here. I'm not done reading yet, but I gotta head to the airport to pick up a friend national hug day i'm about to pick up one of the best huggers of all time stand by hey y'all national hug day best hug in the world look who's here hey they don't know who it is yet hey <laughs> she's not drunk i promise she's got off a play it's bro G. hi everyone special friend i wish you guys could, i didn't want to record it because it was a special moment but scarborough lost his mind oh. when he saw bro like lost his mind. He didn't know what to do. He was like running in and out of his house. Literally peed on my sweater. It's like a whole thing. Yeah, he peed on. Look how long her hair is. Rogan, do you miss us? Short. Um, yes, yeah, just the smallest. Do little, you miss Team bit. Super? Oh, I miss them so much. Miss you guys. <laughs> joy! Happy, happy joy! I'm gonna go to bed after waking five hours for hair and makeup. Let's see how we did! Tomorrow! We day. Thanks. I'm glad you came along. Mm-hmm.